Hey there. Hey, it's Wednesday. Oh, actually, it's Tuesday. <laughs> that tells you how long it's been since we've done this behind the scenes right here from the studio. And today I have a really fun show for you guys. I got Joanne coming on. We're going to talk about the Luminaire upgrade. We're going to talk a little bit about the Brother blog, a couple really good sales coming up at your Brother dealer. So, and I'm giving you a little preview into one that's coming in September too. So say hi, say where you're from. And I see you all already rolling in. So it's been a little while since we've been on this platform. Can you hear me? Okay, just let me know. See me, hear me. You never know about technology. Marianne, I see you. Rhonda, Birdie, great to see you girls. Arnell. So if you can hear me, I'll just keep rolling. Bonnie. Oh, hey, Reen. Nice to see you. And Don, I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're doing well. This is always like my favorite. So for those of you that don't know, I also do a Wednesday behind the scenes, which is what I was thinking today was. But it, today is Tuesday, Sewing News Live. This show is sponsored by Brother. I am a brand ambassador for Brother. So is Joanne that's coming on. And of course, we're featuring all the Brother products. So I'm a little biased. <laughs> all right. And yes, you can hear me fine. Wonderful, Kelsey. So uh, last time we were live, we were actually at Brother B2B, which was for those, some of you thought that was a convention that anyone can go to, and no, it's for brother dealers. So it's all the specific products that are coming out, anything new. Remember last year, the big Luminaire launch, which was huge. This year, there were a lot of new products as well, but Joanne and I are going to talk about the upgrade coming on the Luminaire, which is pretty cool. I think you guys saw me doing that couching, which was very fun. So I'm not going to make Joanne wait. She's already here. I see Idaho, Texas rolling in. And last week we had a ton of people from every country all over the world. So welcome all my sewing friends. So let's bring Joanne up here. Let's see Joanne if I can find you on here. Hey Joanne. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, very good. Welcome to the show today. Everyone, hey everybody. Joanne, a big hi. Make sure there's, if there's an echo or anything you guys on my end, just let me know because that sometimes it happens when two of us are on, but hopefully it's all good. Mary's saying hello. It sounds like it's all great. <laughs> so, Joanne, you have a busy fall coming up, by the way. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Lots going on. So you have to tell everyone about this cruise. Do you have any more room on that cruise, by the way? Not to go well, off topic for a minute, but I have to ask. Yeah, the last I heard, our um, Harmony of the Seas cruise to the Eastern Caribbean still has a few spots left. So um, we are uh, sailing with a brother dealer from Florida, Quilts and Lace, um, Beth Sweet and uh, Ira and uh, myself are all going to be teaching classes. We're going to be using brother machines, of course, okay. and we're also doing um, some different things with the scan and cut. So we're sailing for seven days and sewing for three days. So I saw Beth last weekend and it sounds like an awesome event. And for those of you that want to go on a cruise and sew and meet a bunch of sewing friends at the same time, you might want to join Joanne. You can message Joanne. And uh, Joanne, your website is letsgosew.com. Is that right? That's correct. Yes. Letsgosew.com. Let's go sew. Let's go sew. <laughs> <laughs> Joanne, what do you think? First off, uh, I got to save the Luminaire for a second because I was going through the Brother blog and there are some really cool things. So let me just bring this up. I have to ask, for those of you that don't know, Brother has its own blog. Many of us write for it. But Joanne, you do, this is a, I think it's the free project of the month. Is this the one I was like daunting? That's the for? free design of the month. I do free design of the month. I do foot of the month. I do a tip of the month and I do an extra blog project. So I do four things um, regularly that are posted on the Brother blog. Okay, it was this one here, the free design. Yeah, from pretty on this embroidery shirt. So I was drawn to this because first off, when I looked at it from a distance, it looks like my Linda tunic, which <laughs> I was like, wait, that's so cute. And I'm huh? actually in a white top, but that's a t-shirt, isn't it? It's just a ready-made t-shirt. Yep. Just a little v-neck t-shirt that was plain and ordinary. And I added a little bit of lace to make it pretty and special. So could you tell everyone a little bit about this? I see, I'm, I have this up on the board for everyone to see. So there's a design on here. She tells you everything that you need to do. Joanne's directions are impeccable. Way, well, I mean, everything's detailed. You need to realize with um, that's a design that's on iBroidery.com. And every month 
Uh, Brother offers a free design that we select uh, from iBroidery. So that one is part of a, a lace collection. There are other pieces that coordinate with that. And the lace pieces actually fit together. So if you wanted to make uh, a whole lapel or something like that, you can. But that's just one, one element from it. The really important thing to know with that is it's not freestanding lace. So the instructions tell you to embroider on tulle, you know, the really fine netting. And I like to use two layers. I like to find the really, really, really fine tool and use two layers to make it, give it a little strength. The nice thing about it is it's so sheer that you're really not, you know, you're not building up any, any depth with two layers. It still looks very sheer and almost invisible. And then I layer it with one or two pieces of water soluble stabilizer. Usually one is, is sufficient and hoop it all really, really snug and then just stitch the design. And when you're all done, use a pair of good curve tip scissors and trim around the edge um, close to it and then uh, add it to whatever item you wanna add it to. I used, sometimes I'll use a zigzag, a narrow zigzag and monofilament thread. But on this one, I just used a straight stitch and just straight stitched along some of the areas um, in, the, in the lace so that it kind of just melts right in and disappears. It looks, I, I'm showing the photos, you, I don't know if you can see this, and I'm showing how you attach it on here. So lace has been such a big deal. It's such a hot trend right now. Oh, anyway, We both but, love it, don't we? We can't oh get enough of it. Gosh. I love and, your collection too. So, well, so the same idea you could use. Yes. And the thing is, is that uh, what you were mentioning about, a lot of people think that um, for freestanding lace, that you can only embroider it has to be a specific design and you and I both love to use tool and so let's just talk a little bit about the tool because I've showed showed I have shown samples here quite a few times of mm -hmm. the difference of the feel of it and if you go into let's just use um well any fabric store yep yep <laughs> and yep. if you hold the tool if it drapes on your hand that's the softness drape that we're talking about there's exactly. some tool that i've used for parties that i stick in bags that if you put that on your hand it's as stiff as a board yeah and it's <laughs> scratchy too so the softer tool is much more comfortable against your skin yes in fact hold on i will go grab a piece real quick just okay. for uh reference purposes okay the the really cool thing too is that it comes in like a gazillion different colors you know you just go to the go to the bridal specialty section of fabric store and you'll find a lot of coordinates so you'll find satins and you yeah. know uh, silkies and is that more than a billion yeah a, a gazillion, a gazillion. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what's so fun about it because you can make whatever color you want that is so beautiful Okay, so I brought this out just because it just happened to be, I was working on something, but what I want to point out is look at how this drapes. This already has the design on it. So Perfect since example. I, since we can't drape right from your blog, I'm just going to bring this up. This is a navy tool, and some of you that watch the show frequently have seen me use this, but if you're new to the show, you haven't seen this. This is navy fabric, but when I put it on my arm because it's so sheer, now this is yeah. just one layer, you can hardly tell, I mean... I mean, you can tell that it's a little bit of a different color, but if you have this for an entire sleeve or you cut this and attach it into a garment, you can hardly tell that that's a dark navy. You're absolutely right. One time I had to do something on a yellow jacket and I tried yellow tool and it it showed. I tried a flesh tone and it melted right in. So, you know, if you're gonna, if you know what fabric you're gonna be putting it on, you might wanna take that to the store with you and do a little bit of a trial to see, you know, what looks best because you never know till you try. That's what I do too, because sometimes you would think that's going to be way too dark. You're not going to see that or exactly yeah. what you said. The color looks very different against your skin tone. If you're using it for a project, then it's really a good idea also to bring that fabric just to know. So uh, a couple of people are asking us a few questions. Do you pre-wash your uh, tool? Anne asked that a couple of times. You don't need to at all. It's not going to shrink. So you know, right. It's a polyester you, base or yeah. acrylic base. But here's the thing is that if you're doing these designs, you're using wash away stabilizer anyways. And I don't know about you, Joanne, but I use hot, hot water to rinse that. I do. You know what I do? I, I heat it up in the microwave. I, I After put my, I, I fill a hole, you know, the big um, measuring cups that you use for baking. 
I fill a big one of that. I heat it up in the microwave until it's really hot, not boiling, but really hot. Right. And then I use the, uh, oh, I always forget, uh, forceps. And I, and I hold my lace and I dip it in the water so that I don't have to touch it and just dip it a few times and it, it works really good. That's like my new latest, greatest method that I've been using. Wow. Do you remember when you were here at my office? I have all those colored tongs. They're all for, that's what they're for. Oh, yeah, that works perfect. Dye fabric or for the hot water. But I have pretty hot water out of the sink, right? Well, I use the hot water out of my, I guess that would be kind of like a microwave. I use the hot water out of my. Yeah, yeah you got great hot water there. <laughs> I know. So, uh, but one thing that I learned from Deborah Jones one time, and I don't know if you've ever tried this. Sometimes I've had an issue with. Um, the stabilizer not washing out all the way. And we've talked about it. Of course, it depends on the brand and things like that. I've never had a problem with the brother brand, no. but um, sometimes it's difficult because it's such, if you're using a really dense design and I've used Downy. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a brand from brother, by the way, but that's a, it's a, just fabric, a fabric softener fabric. makes a good rinse. Yeah. It and does. I actually keep it in a bowl with the hot water, stir it up and then stick the fabric in there. And I put a little note to my husband, this is not Kool-Aid. Don't drink it. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. No, I've done the same thing with, um, especially because sometimes I'll want to put the lace on a garment or a project before I wash it out. Right. You know, sometimes it's easier to sew it on if you've still got the, the base there because it, it makes it a little stiffer. It just depends on what you're doing. And in that case, then I like to um, uh, rinse the, in, in, you know, the fabric softener solution because that gets it really 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 good right uh leslie uh, is asking this this what uh joanne had up is from the is that embroidery that you that's had embroidery that's and the brother embroidery site this one is from my lace collection mm -hmm. leslie was asking so yes this is mine but but i sewed it on the luminaire and what she has is from embroidery so those of you that think I've had a few comments that people say, but, but I don't have the luminaire, but you can sew the designs for my embroidery on any brother machine oh, that yeah. design will fit in that hoop. Any. That free design is a four by four design. Anybody can use it. All you, you know, and all I did was mirror image the design. So I stitched a second one so that I could butt the two together and form a V-neck. So I'm going to bring yeah. this up again for those of you that can see. So she used two. There's the one design and then she mirror imaged it. So I think you even had a list up on the top here of all the machines that you suggested. Didn't you have a few? Um, I don't, I, I think what I just did as I, I listed the machine that I actually used, I used a four by four uh, machine for that. Okay. So there you I, go. I think one of my best tips in that whole project though, is really a simple little silly one, but it's putting the cardboard under the neckline when you're pinning that lace design on, because you know, it's, it's hard not to pin through another layer. Mm -hmm. So I always keep a piece of cardboard. If you have a t-shirt board or any one of those type of things that works too, but it just makes that's it a whole lot easier. That's a great idea. All right. Just so if you have things. questions on that, you can go over to the brother blog and leave Joanne a comment. Uh, there's, you have a lot of comments on there already. And then I'm just going to bring up just for all of you to see just some of the other Internet has been a little slow today, but uh, you can actually see uh, everything that went on at the event from the brother back to business. There's a few other fun things here with the zipper neckline from Emily. She'll be coming on the show in a few weeks. Uh, we've got embroidered bags. We've got hats. There's so many fun projects. and Great stuff. Yes. And the other thing is a lot of your brother dealers will be featuring them these in their newsletters. They're free to use. The projects are free for you to use, and we look forward to seeing what you make with them. So, and then one more thing that that while we're both on here, uh, as you know, there's quite a few brand ambassadors. Joanne just happened to be here today, but Joanne and I uh, were very excited to hear this that there's been one million visitors to the Brother blog. So that is, that is so awesome. cool. So thank you guys for reading all of this. <laughs> yes. All right. So let me bring this down, and now I'm going to. So I just. Uh, I'll go through and make sure there weren't any other questions. Um, there were a few other things roaming up, but I'll just double check. But uh, one thing about the Luminaire, did you see that new commercial? Have Have any of you seen the new commercial for the, or not the Luminaire, the Stellaire? It's so cute. Oh my, I've watched it over and over again. It's yeah. so cute. If you haven't seen it, I wonder if, I know it's on the Brother YouTube channel. So I'll try to find it and play it for you guys, but you could just go see it yourself too. It is so adorable. It is. And all I could think of was, if you haven't seen 
the commercial. You have to see it because it's it's the mom that the girl went to college or the child goes to college and their room is taken over. So I'm the oldest of five kids and not to, uh, you know, I think that they couldn't wait for me to get out of there. I'm saying they because I'm pretty sure it was my sister's so they could split up and not have to share a room. So I don't think I was out of the house 15 minutes before that thing was taken over. I mean, it might have been 12 yeah. minutes. <laughs> so I was always invited back, but I laughed so hard at that commercial because I thought that is so true. It's I mean, real life. It's so That's a reality. That's a reality show. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And so now I'm watching my sister with her young kids. She's got her sewing room. Don't touch it. Julie's got her sewing room. Don't touch it. <laughs> it's so funny. All right. So for those that didn't see, what's your favorite thing on the brother, uh, the Luminaire upgrade? Now, last week or a couple weeks ago, I talked with everyone, just a quick preview that first off, upgrade and update are two different things. And this is always my time of year now and around Christmas are the two times that I always try to remember let me go check and see if there's an upgrade for any of my machines. Sorry about the beep. And oh goodness, let me just close this down. Sorry about that, guys. So uh, upgrade or update, which one? So update is something that you can do for any of the machines that have basically, I always think of the Dream Machine all the way back to the Dream Weaver, now the Luminaire. And you just always want to check. It's like a computer update just in case they fix something. That's free. And Joanne, do you have any tips about when you do that on any of your machines? Um, yeah. Well, the neat thing about the Luminaire now with the with the up um, with the upgrade, upgrade update, um, you can you can do it wirelessly. So just like PE Design 11 will prompt you when there's an update, um, now the Luminaire will prompt you when there's a free update. So you can that download that wirelessly. So that works really really well. But basically, any machine that has a computer cable connection can be updated because if we get new computer systems, you know, we went from what Windows, Windows, whatever to Windows 10 now, and who knows what's in the future. If you need to communicate with a new computer, um, the machines get updated um, pretty much, you know, regularly so that they can, you can communicate and download from there. Right. I remember some of my first machines, you'd have to hook the computer into it. And I, I, I was not into that. Yeah, I mean, I just didn't do it. <laughs> so I can understand when somebody's like, I, that's not happening. But for the machines now, you really you really should because it can make a difference. Well, and uh, some people I, like to use their laptops right next to their machine or they have a dedicated, it's, you know, it's not a bad idea to have a dedicated computer that just works with your, you know, with your machine and you can have your software on there so that you can view everything beforehand. There's just so many ways to, to connect everything. And it's really a matter of personal choice. But um, if anybody ever has any questions, just, you know, let us know and we'll, we'll we try to help. If we don't know the answer, we'll find out the details from the people that do. <laughs> We're here to help, right? We want yeah. everybody to have a great brother sewing and embroidery experience. <laughs> Sewing experience, period. I'm so excited to see all of, there's so many people sewing now from every age. Someone said, what is the average age of so, of somebody who's sewing? I said, uh, any, I mean, every age. I'm watching these young kids do refashioning. I'm watching uh, some of my friends who are grandmothers, like wait, like great grandmothers. So that's really not, yeah. age. That, I mean, that's like whatever. They're great grandmothers because they're making kids for their great grandkids. That's how I can relate to that. So, I mean, it's just amazing. And it's from anything from home deck to garments to something simple, quilting, whatever. But let's talk about the new things on the Luminaire. All right. So I already thought how, first off, how are you going to beat the Luminaire? I mean, it already has such great features. I mean, it's awesome. But how right. could you add to it? Well, they did. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I did a presentation uh, last night for my local dealer. I teach once a month um, for my local dealer, and we talked about the Luminaire upgrade. He's already got them in stock. He's already selling them. And I'm telling you, you are getting your money's worth with that, with that upgrade package. There are just so many things that it does. My favorite, I'm playing with yarn. Can you see my oh, yarn ball? Yes. Well, I joke about it, but I can't knit a stitch. I mean, I made a scarf once in junior high because I had to, and it was all crooked and cockeyed. And so I've never, never tried knitting again, maybe someday, but I love yarn. I go crazy in the yarn 
department because there are so many gorgeous, gorgeous yarns. And so if I can use them with my embroidery machine, I'm a happy woman. <laughs> so well, I've been playing with that a lot. I think my husband's going to be happy because when we moved, he said to me, uh, do you knit? And I said, no, I crochet. And he said, you could crochet every day from now until I think he said the day I died, but I really don't want to be morbid. And I would never get through all that yarn. But I'm like, I mean, I you, like you said, you go by the yarn and it's so cute. I do crochet, but it's trim on a jacket. So give me a break. <laughs> I mean, this is, I need to have a giveaway sale. But this is going to be fun because that couching, you can do it on the embroidery, which is so cool. It's wonderful. There, there are, what, uh, 40, I believe, beautiful um, designs that come with the upgrade that are all specifically for uh, yarn couching. I call it yarn couching, yarn embroidery, whatever you want to call it. But um, And you don't need anything, you know, fancy or expensive. The regular, ordinary yarn works beautiful. The, the uh, worsted weight is kind of the average average weight that they recommend. But I've seen some other samples where people played around with um, other things. So, you know, you can you can test it out. It's um, it's really easy to do, really easy to do. And I'll give you just a little little hint that there you'll see on the upcoming season of It's So Easy TV, you will actually see it in action. So um, the season that you and I just finished uh, taping in uh, in Ohio will air, I believe, at the end of December. It'll start. Mm -hmm. So that'll be something to look forward to. That's going to be great. So I know people are already asking. Uh, <laughs> Leslie says, uh, S E L E stash exceeds life expects. Ah, that's a good one. I love that, Leslie. <laughs> that's great. Um, somebody's asking when this is all going to be available in the UK, and somebody earlier asked about a few other countries. I don't have a status on that, but I can yeah. find out. Uh, is there going to be an upgrade for couching for the dream creator? This this upgrade is only for the luminaire. Period. I mean, that's it. Right. That I know of. I mean, and you never know what's coming out in the future. I'm not privy to that information. But then there's also the yarn couching with the digital dual feed foot, which is part of the package for the Luminaire upgrade, but is something that is available for a lot of other brother models too. Don't ask me to name them all off the top of my head, but we can we can put together a list for that and and post it on your site um, or on your on your page. Um, cause there it's, it, there are, there's even another model that includes that already in the package. So yarn couching with the digital dual feed foot is very fun. You can okay. draw patterns on your fabric and then just follow the lines or you can do it free form. Um, it, it's, it's really fun to do. So there's a lot of options for that. So I've just, I think Robin said she sent us a picture of one she just did. Let me see if I got it. Great. I click on, I turn off my notifications, but obviously not all of them because you keep getting ringing in your ear, which I apologize for. But all right, well, I would say walk, don't run to your local dealer because those upgrades are available. Check now. this out. Yeah, yeah that's a beautiful I, pattern. Did, did you do this at B2B in class, Robin? Because I was watching everyone walk around with this. That's beautiful. So I've had people ask, can you use different things in the bobbin? They're, they're thinking that this is bobbin work. It's not. It's not. Totally different. Yeah. Yeah. But the reason it, it could be just a little bit um, what people are thinking is they used the Dream Machine had bobbin work designs and they used all of those, uh, I believe all of them, all of those bobbin work designs and turned them into yarn embroidery designs for the Luminaire upgrade. So you're oh. seeing the same motifs, the same patterns that once were bobbin work now created as uh, yarn embroidery. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know, I, I am so looking forward to every time we get something new, you know, with the scan and cut, there's a bunch of new things on that. Uh, the creativity that comes out, because everyone thinks of things so differently. And I, first thing I think of when I see couching is trim all over my jackets with the yarn that I purchased years yeah. ago. <laughs> then, um, and then, designing my own fabric. Other people, as soon as I mention couching, the words that come, I mean, the ideas, handbags, embellishing, embellishing jeans. That's a huge. Sky's the limit. Sky's yeah. the limit. 
So I think that's going to be pretty fun. I'm watching all these people write that they've got tons and tons of yarn. And uh, Rhonda popped in, so it's great to see you too, Robin. Or, <laughs> Rhonda and Robin. Uh, let's see. Jen. Hey, Jen. How are you, by the way? Uh, do you think we'll ever be able to do this on the Dream Machine? Uh, the did the Dream Machine have that? The Dream Machine had the had the digital dual feed couching attachment, yeah. so you can do the the you know not freehand, but you can do it with the foot, so you can follow any pattern that you want to create on your fabric. It's not done in embroidery mode; it's done in sewing mode. That's the difference. Yeah. That so with the, the new Luminaire upgrade, you can do embroidery mode or you can do sewing mode. And I think that's the one that it's going to take a little while for everyone to realize that they're really different. But I remember using that adapter, the adapter, the attachment on the Dream Machine because I used it to embellish fabric for a pillow. And it was e very easy to use. And what I did, I just used chalk to mark in my design and then did the couching. It worked pretty good. So um, let's see. Well, just an another quick tip for that, you know, for those uh, quilters out there, or if you collect quilting patterns, the continuous line quilting designs would be wonderful for doing the dual digital dual feed couching on the sewing side of the machine, because those would be lines that are made to grow flow smoothly. So you, a lot of, a lot of those patterns are available and you can print them or trace them right onto your fabric and then follow those lines. Just That's a little cool. quick little tip. So I'm just going to bring, make sure I'm bringing up the right screen. Hold on a second. While we're talking about all these things, I believe I just got the preview of the sales going on right now. Yeah, so I'll bring this up while we're on here talking about this. Because then I want to talk about something else about the luminaire. But I know some of you are asking right now, so I'll just be quiet and show you this. So this is a sale going on right now. And you can see this, this is August 1st to August 20th at your local brother dealer. There's quite a few options right now. There's financing, you've got easy frames that come with some certain things. There's the XP1 bundle. There are so many discounts right now. So you can call your local dealer, ask them, or I have one more to show you. So hold on a second. I think this is a preview just because you watched the show. Uh, this one's coming in September. So you're the first to hear about this. Here you go, September 5th through 23rd. And this is a big deal too. This is 0% financing for 60 months. And a lot of people have asked me about that because there's like, I want the, I want one of these machines, only buy what you can afford first off. But a, a big question comes up, what do I really need? Uh, there goes my whole email. What do I really need? And the thing is, is Joanne and I have mentioned this many times. Cindy's mentioned this. Uh, whatever size hoop is the largest hoop that you can afford to buy, that's what you're going to want to get because if you buy a machine just with a 4x4, four four, the first thing you're going to find is a 5x7 design and think, oh, why didn't I get the 5x7? So if you're iffy over two machines, regardless of what price range you're in, there are so many different price ranges. You don't have to go to the top of the level. Just start somewhere. But if you can at least get a 5x7 hoop, that would be my recommendation because I just started with a smaller hoop and immediately I wanted a larger one. It's the hoop size. But it's really what can you afford and what what are you going to do? If you're just going to do little towels, you don't need anything much more than that or monograms. What do you think, Joanne? Well, the great thing is there's a, there's something for everybody. There really and truly is. No matter what you want to spend, what you want to do, Brother has such an expansive line. There's, there's really something for everybody. But yeah, I always recommend that you try to stretch a little bit, meaning buy something that you're, you know, almost a little bit intimidated about because that means you're going to grow. If you buy something that you're already, oh, totally comfortable. Yeah, I understand all that. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, it makes, you know, you're, you're going to kind of stay where you're at. So you want to, you know, you want to stretch yourself just a little bit because then you're going to have a machine that you're going to enjoy for a longer period of time. That's my philosophy. Sounds good. I agree too. So uh, a couple of things. A few people have asked me this, so I brought the machine out so I could show. So I, one of my most common questions asked recently is, do you prefer sewing in the center position? Now, this is any machine. I mean, any of the brother machines, you have the left, middle, or right sewing positions. But usually when you turn them on, it's programmed to the left side. So 
A couple of things about that. I'm going to show you how to change that in your settings if you prefer. But Joanne, are you a lefty, middle, or righty? <laughs> well, I'm. I switch. <laughs> I switch all over the place. I adjust my needle depending on what I'm, what seam allowance I need, what where I'm stitching on the on the actual item. Um, but what a lot of people don't realize is that the foot is coordinated to the left needle position because that's where the groove is or the opening is on the foot. It matches, you know, on our old machines, the center needle opening matched a center slot on the foot. Now we have a slot on the far left of the foot. And so that left position is coordinated to that. The other thing that's really important, and there's, I think there's actually a post coming up on straight stitching um, where I talk a little bit about left needle with a regular foot and center needle with the straight stitch foot. So that watch for that to come up on the, on the Brother Sews blog um, very soon. But when you sew with your needle in the left position, you do get the best support for your fabric when you're using a regular foot. Because if you think about it, okay, you've got the plate, you've got the foot, your needle is in the far left, so you have support at the front. Let's see if I can do this with my hands. At the front, at the back, and at the side. So sewing in the left needle position is the next best thing to sewing with a straight stitch plate. That comes into play more with lighter weight, finer fabrics, or really you know, close stitching than it does with anything else. So that's why you, you have the adjustable needle position and you can, you can move that anywhere from right to left and, and center and everything in between. So experiment. The whole thing is I always say, you know, testing is best, to test is best. So test it out and if it's sewing well, that's all that really counts. I agree. I would kind of wrap that up the same thing, except my favorite position is typically the middle just because I'm so used to sewing uh, for quickly for the mass market when I was sewing my design yeah. for customers. It's called Speed <laughs> and the PQ1500 is my go-to machine for that. It's a very narrow foot and I'm just used to that right down the center. Yeah. And, that's and that one has the opening right in the middle. Yeah. And that's where my eye goes. Yeah. So for me, it's the center. But as you just mentioned, if I'm doing top stitching on a certain place or I'm doing a rolled hem or something where I'm using just the standard foot, then I just move the needle to where I can. Wherever you need it. Yes. So some have asked, it, can you program your machine to always open up the way you like it if you always want it in the center? And yes, you can. There's a button on the top that I'll show you in just a second of how to do that. And that also wants me to remind you that whatever machine you have, you can go in and change the settings on just about anything. So Joanne, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not, I don't want you to leave yet though, unless okay. you Okay, I'll work. hang out. You good for a second? All right, let me just show them for one sec. I'm just going to, here we go. Okay, so come on with me for a moment and I'm just gonna show you this. So you'll know where this is. I'll move slowly and then hopefully this will just um, focus where we need it to focus, where I don't lose you. All right, you on there? Perfect. Okay, so this is the Luminaire. Of course, the Dream Machine would be a very similar thing, but just a little bit different. And I just wanna show you where you go to do this. Now, right, I've been embroidering. I just turned the machine on. That is not my embroidery foot that's on there because I'm getting ready to do some sewing. But if you look through here, these are the settings up here that a lot of people forget about. And there is a setting here. This is where you can change all of these things. The light, you can change. Look at how that just got darker. I don't know if you noticed that if I get my hair out of your way. <laughs> and I'm going to bring this back up. All of these things, your screen brightness, so many different. So go through here and check this out. Now, needle position, stitch placement, things like that. Let me go back through here. Screensaver. Here's some more brightness. One more thing I wanted to point out because we've talked about this before. That's my machine. This is where you turn your grid on and off. There's different places to adjust tension, embroidery foot height. That's really important because sometimes I've been embroidering a real thick fabric. And if you want the height to go up, this is where you change that. There's embroidery needle position. 
you've got all of these options. So if you've never touched this button up here or actually played with these things, you can always change it back. You can't screw anything up. Here's where you can change your the scanning quality to standard defined, depending on what you're working on. Delete your background image. Fabric thickness. This is a big one where everyone says, oh, hey, wait, <laughs> I have fabric and it tells me how um, it's going to know what I'm sewing. Well, if you don't turn it on, which it comes usually standard off. So if you don't turn it on, it's not going to show up. And a few more things. This is where you set up your Wi-Fi and all those others. So that's just a quick tip there on where to change that setting. Now, depending on if you're using a different machine, there's other areas. So check your manual. You can also, even on the real, the less expensive machines, there's to, to change where your needle position is. There might not be a setting on there, but you use your needle width. It'll say stitch width and you just move it to a different place on the width and that will move your needle to a center position. So that gives you a little tip. I'm gonna bring Joanne back up here because we're just going to, um, let's see if I can show you somewhere. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Here we go, Joanne. There you are. Are you back? I'm back. Awesome. So uh, we are going to have, I'm going to do a random drawing here. And you're going to help me do this because I've been counting. I have a little tally over here of everyone who's leaving comments. So if you're live, we're going to be finishing wrapping this show up in just a few minutes. Uh, we are going to be drawing two winners. Uh, it's USA only, so sorry about my friends overseas, but uh, no worries. I'll find something special for you one of these days. <laughs> but uh, we're going to be giving away an uh, eye broidery design. Fun. Uh, the design is a surprise. I can't tell you what it is at this point, but I will show you. But we're going to draw two people on here as random, and then I'll have something special for all of you on the next show for the eye broidery. But uh, we end up with so many guests on here commenting and asking questions. So if you've left a comment, you are in the tally. If you haven't left a comment, then you're not. So that's so if you're like, well, I don't have anything to say, <laughs> don't worry. But as some of us were asking, do you like the middle sewing position, the left or the right? And we're just curious. Usually it's left or middle, not the right. But it really depends on the project. But do you have a general go-to? So I, everybody's saying good morning now. So now you're all getting in the tallies. So mm -hmm. I, there was a few more questions that we'll just go through. Uh, everybody, Lynn says, thanks for the tips. <laughs> Marcy, you need a tan like mine. Well, Marcy, that's what you get for fishing. And this is 30 sunscreen. <laughs> wow. I know the season's almost wrapped up. All right. So you can tell I haven't been fishing. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, Joanne. You're going to. A little makeup. A little makeup helps. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So hold on just a second. I was using the entrepreneur. Oh, Liz wanted to know. Let me see if I can scroll down here for Liz's. Liz had a question. Let me see if I can find it. She was having an issue and wondered if either one of us had a video. This is kind of a big question to bring up here. So let me see if it shows up or if it takes up the whole screen. Oh, yeah, that's too big. <laughs> uh, she recent, recently stitched out a large eye broidery design, one that I had to flip the hoop around using that snowman. And it was about an eighth of an inch off. My first time sewing such a large design. Do either of you have a video blog about stitching out those big designs? Thanks, Liz says. I haven't, I haven't used one of those. I mean, I haven't used the bigger one, except I just used the projector on the Luminaire. She said she was using the PR. Hold on a second. She was using the Entrepreneur Pro 1000E with the 14 by 14 hoop. Okay. Hmm. No, I don't, I don't have any, any video on that because I don't actually have that machine in my repertoire. So, um, Maybe we can do some research and see if anybody else has. So that she, I'm guessing she did a, Liz did a split design. I'm guessing. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Feel free to leave comments about that, Liz. And what I'll do is I'll forward this to um, a couple of the girls that work on those machines all the time. And they might have a good tip for you. But I don't have any videos on that either. Because I usually focus on the Luminaire or the Dream or in the past some of the others. Oh, so uh, a couple things. Uh, Diana, we don't know. We're not dealers, so we don't have prices. You just have to call your local dealer. Just FYI. I wasn't ignoring you. It just, I don't know. They, I usually don't get that information. <laughs> um, everybody's saying middle for sure. So uh, the, we're not talking about this today, but just one small thing. What do you think of the app on the Stellaire? Is that cool or what? 
It's really cool. I, I, I'll give you another little <laughs> sneak peek. You'll see that in action on the next um, season of It's So Easy TV. So I've actually had the chance to use it. It is super simple. Um, really, really, really easy. It's as easy as taking a picture with your camera or your phone. You know, in this case, you're going to use a, a, a device, um, you know, like an iPod or uh, iPad or your phone. But it's you're taking a picture, and then the picture is is choop, sent over to the machine, and it's right on the screen there. Super easy. That's very easy. I'm I'm, I'm watching everyone. So Liz, if you haven't noticed, if you guys aren't following this conversation, uh, everyone's pitching in to help Liz out. Robin had some suggestions and a few other things. So 180,000 stitches. What? Wow. That's a big design. <laughs> wow. Well, I won't say anything because if I had, when I do something with that many stitches, like my jeans that had three hoopings down one leg, and so I, I made a terrible mistake. This is years ago. Of course, I still make mistakes, but I usually don't talk about them until years later. <laughs> I just went back and free motioned over the place I screwed up. I figured there's so many flowers on those jeans. Who's going to know I screwed up on that one area? And you know what? They still have never noticed. <laughs> yeah. That works. It works. <laughs> it works. Um, what machines work with the app? Uh, the Luminaire does not. The, no, the um, the Luminaire has something different. But we're talking about the app that's with the Stellar. That's what we're talking about. That's what Joanna and I were just talking that's about. For, that's yeah. That's a whole different whole different ball game. Yeah. So, Joanne, do you have anything else to share with everyone? Oh, right now? let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Just I'm really. If you have a Luminaire, you got to check out the upgrade because it, it's it's just so much fun. You're gonna also getting a a 10 and 5 eighths inch square hoop that comes in the package. So, you know, a hoop of that size is pretty, pretty, you know, pretty much uh, a chunk of the cost of the actual upgrade. So you're, you're getting a lot for your money. Definitely a lot for your money. Absolutely. But so you know, have, there's ahead. a whole new line of brother machines. There's a lot of, there's new pace setter machines. And, and again, there's just, there's something for everybody. So, if you're looking for a sewing machine or an embroidery machine, your dealer is going to be getting all the new stuff in like now. So check it out. Yeah. Make sure you visit. Not it. only that, uh, go play on the machines because they're the pace setter. I didn't even talk about that line because I was going to focus on the luminaire today, but you will see uh, Jane showing up on TV shows around the United States and the morning shows showing those machines off. And those are only available at a dealer. The price is very good. Yeah. And when you go there, you can play on those machines and all the way up to whatever level you want to play. <laughs> and I always suggest that because, you know, if you buy a machine in the box, you get it home, you have no training, you have no, you know, you're just sewing, which is fine. There's a lot of videos to follow. But when, when you get a little more advanced or even when you're a beginner and you just say, hey, you know what, I need, I want some classes, I want support, that's where the dealer comes in. And then if you have a dealer that offers classes, there's so many different classes now. There's huge events, there's small events. Yeah. I have a few virtual events coming up with some of the dealers and that means I'm there on your screen in that store not everywhere but just in that store and you're getting one-on-one -on -one, except they can't hug you that's the only nice thing. <laughs> but, you know, and, and if you're happy with the machine you have already you know there's always new accessories coming out new feet mm -hmm. um, or you know again I you know we we write for the brother blog but all those blogs are designed to help you use whatever you have to the fullest so please check those out and and subscribe so that you get a notification when new ones are are posted. All right, so I think my I'm looking at my tally on my. Hold on a second. We're doing the drum roll. So All right, here. I'm writing their name down because my software is the one that picked this. So whoever wins, you're just gonna have to message me because I don't have your email address because you're live on the show, right? And if you're watching this later on, I'll have a special a special for you for embroidery later. But these are just two win two winners for showing up live on our show and making a comment. So remember the next live brother show when it comes. If you join us and you leave some comments, uh, you never know you might be the next winner. So it looks like here. <laughs> okay, this is really funny. So both of the names on here. I'm just scrolling through to make sure that they really did leave a comment and they did. And one of them thought they weren't live, but they really are live. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations to two winners. You've won an embroidery design. I will send you a link for that. If you're in the U.S., if you're not, just let, let me know and 
Uh, but I will just see. Joy Stevens, <laughs> who thinks she's not live, is live. And it, she says our show sounds interesting. So thanks. And you're, you are one of the winners. And the other one, I need just need to scroll through and see if I can find a Karen Wright Smith. Where are you? Karen Wright Smith. Somewhere. You must have left a comment in here. <laughs> Maybe she got so excited she had to run to her sewing machine and start sewing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember seeing her comment too. So she's in here somewhere. So Karen Wright Smith, you are one of the winners. And is that it? There you are. Looks like you are from Kansas. Congratulations. So Ooh. Karen and Joyce, leave me a private message. We are going to send you a free embroidery design of your choice. Can't wait to see what you make with it. And for the rest of you, thanks for joining Joanne and I today. We had a lot of fun. Don't forget, if you're looking to go on that uh, cruise, message Joanne. Yes, please. We're going to sew and sail. <laughs> sew and sail. Someone just asked, are you going? No. Uh, I'm, I'll go fishing, but I'm not going on the cruise. But I'm wishing them luck because you're going with a lot of fun people. <laughs> I love that store, by the way. Many of you joined me there a few years back. So Great people. Uh, everybody's saying congrats. Love their brother machine. <laughs> congrats. Well, thanks for joining us. I will be live tomorrow uh, for my usual behind the scenes. Joanne, can't wait to see what you have coming up for the blog. All right. Happy sewing, everybody. Happy Love sewing, seeing everybody. Bye, Joanne. Bye-bye. So we are wrapping up the show. If you have any comments and questions, I always try to go back and check. In the meantime, happy sewing. And I'll have another surprise for you in a couple of weeks for the Brother Sewing News Live. Thank you, Brother, for sponsoring the show. And I will see you tomorrow on the usual Behind the Scenes Live right here on Facebook. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.